right, so if we're going to find the area, the exact area, using the limit of a Riemann sum, we're going to start by finding out what delta x is. So to find delta x, take your b minus your a, so 2 minus the negative 3, divide by n. Delta x on this one is going to be 5 over n. Now setting up the area, using that limit for a Riemann sum, that the limit as n approaches infinity. Got our sigma notation in here. Got our function, which on this one our function is the y equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. We've got to figure out what to plug into that function, though. So we start with a. a is negative 3. We add on i delta x. So delta x is 5 over n. It'd be 5 over n i. And then to complete the limit for the Riemann sum, we tack on delta x. Again, it's 5 over n. Now when you start with your function and the part that you want to plug in to your function, going back here, you've got a couple of x's to replace. So we've got to replace both of these x's with this expression, negative 3 plus 5 over ni. When we do that, Place the first x, yep. Yeah. See, 2 times that quantity squared minus. Four times the same thing. Yep, 4 times the same thing. Plus five. Okay, plus 5 because that completes the function. Yep, all of this represents that expression plugged into the function. Tack on the 5 over n at the end. Okay, it's algebra time. Some scratch work I might want to do off the side. Be the expansion of that binomial. So if I expand that binomial out, I've got negative 3 plus 5 over ni times itself. Foiling that out, negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. Outside, I got negative 3 times 5 over ni, so that'd be negative 15 over ni. And then it'd be the same on the inside terms. And if you multiply your last terms, well, let's see. You got 5 times 5, 25. You got n times n, n squared. And you got i times i, i squared. So collecting some like terms there, to put these together, that'd be negative 30 over ni, right? That becomes this part, which when I substitute that back in, all this scratch work I've done, I've got this 2 that will be distributed to all this work. So let's see how that looks as we transfer it over. Got the area. That equals the limit as n approaches infinity. Got our sigma notation in there. All right, we are distributing a 2 through to our scratch work. So we've got 18 minus, let's see, it's 2 times this 30 over ni, so minus 60 over n i. And what else? We've got 2 times this guy here. So that's going to be 50 over n squared i squared. And was that plus? Yes. So that's just for the squared part. 
which is the worst part here. The rest of it, like this negative 4 here, I can distribute that through. I get plus 12. And then what else there? Negative 4 times this would be negative 20 over ni. Anything left? Plus 5, right? Tack on a 5 here at the end. Got all of this multiplied by that base. <coughs> Excuse me. So that base was 5 over n. Be nice to clean up the, uh, the inside here a little bit before we distribute that 5 over n. So collecting like terms, you've got what, 18, 12, 5, so that'd be 35. You've got a couple of uh, i terms, right, a negative 60 over ni, a negative 20 over ni, so that'd be negative 80 over ni. And then we just have that one 50 over n squared i squared term. That's a little bit better. We could take that and multiply by the 5 over n. So distribute the base through finally. You distribute the base through. Um, 5 over n times 35 would be, what, 175, right, over n. Got 5 over n times the negative 80 over ni, that'd be negative 400 over ni. And then, actually, it'd be 400 over n squared, sorry, right? Because you're taking n times n here. That'd be plus 5 times 50, you got 250 over n times n squared, be n cubed, i squared whole lot of algebra to get to this point. But we finally have gotten to this point, which means we can drop this sigma. We can drop that sigma because we're going to apply the theorems that have to do with that sigma. We got the limit as n approaches infinity still because we haven't considered the limit yet. We'll consider the limit after we apply the theorems. Going through term by term for 175 over n, remember that represents a constant. So when we apply the sigma, we're multiplying by n to that constant. Minus, for this guy here, you've got 400 over n squared times the theorem for i, which would be n squared plus n over 2. Plus, for this one, you've got 250 over n cubed times theorem for i squared, which would be the 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n over 6. So make sure we've got that all substituted correctly. Because if we do, we've got some minor calculating to do at this point to get our answer. We will now be able to, as we multiply through, drop this limit. And if you remember the shortcut, for one, these ends cancel here. So part of our exact area, we're going to have a 175. But then as I look at this little piece, the trick is take that 400, divide by 2, because of what we know is going to happen here with all the canceling. So take 400 divided by 2, I'll be subtracting 200. And then finally, for this last piece here, we're going to take 250, multiply by 2, and divide by 6. Again, that's all we have to do because of what we know about the canceling. If you take 250 times 2, get 500 over 6. So we're adding the 500 over 6, or if you want to reduce that, 250 over 3. Either way, if I calculate this out, I use a little uh, 
decimal approximation maybe, round off to two decimal places, we should get, if I have calculated correctly, 58.33 as our exact area for this function. 